quickly, I'm pretty sure my dad has these shoes. So that's making me feel a bit like, I'm not sure. Welcome back to my channel, Mothering in Style, where I share my love for fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and bring you along on my motherhood journey. If you're new here, my name is Sajoa, and if not, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. So today's video is a bit of a fusion of an autumn winter haul and an autumn winter trends video. And that's because I picked up a few things recently that when I was going through them, they really fit into categories of some of the key trends that are coming off for autumn winter. So I thought I'll share those things with you and also talk through some of the trends that you can expect to see this coming season. Obviously you don't have to buy into trends. I didn't go out with the intention of buying these things because they were on trend but obviously when things are on trend that's what's in the shop so there's going to be a bit of both but I love having classic pieces in my wardrobe but I also love having things that I just think add that little bit of spice, that bit of flavour on top. So as much as I love a bit of a classic wardrobe, that can't be my whole wardrobe. So yes, I like buying the occasional trend item. But a lot of these trends I did have in my wardrobe already and I'm sure that you do too. So let's get down to it and you can decide if you want to buy new or if you just want to pull out something that you already have. The first trend is metallics and this is something that we've seen coming through since spring summer. There's really been this nod towards kind of the extra and the over the top and the more flamboyant the better and that's where feathers fit in and embellishments but definitely there's a lot of metallics still coming through obviously for an autumn winter season with Christmas coming it's perfect and it will always lend itself more to that and the catwalks that are happening at the moment confirm this even more but the hero of the metallics trend is definitely silver and when it comes to jewellery I am 100% wearing gold it will always be gold but silver is the biggest trend this is something that I picked up recently this shirt is from H&M and I this wasn't even in a prominent place in the store it was like in the back in a corner and I just happened to be passing it and I was like "Ooh, that is really nice so I just bought this last week and I looked online and there's also a dress version of this, which I will link down below. So even though I'm more into gold jewelry, I think from a clothing perspective, I can definitely incorporate this into my wardrobe. I love that it's in a shirt because even though it's kind of a more dressy material, it's in a more casual shape. So I feel like that will allow me to style it in lots of different ways, but let's try it on. This is the shirt on. So as you can see, it's an oversized fit. I did get a medium, so I already sized up one size, but I think even if I'd gotten my true size, which would be a small, it still would have been oversized. I like it this oversized, but that's not for everyone. So bear that in mind. But it's a really lovely high shine material. I do think it could have had nicer buttons on it. It's just got like really standard plastic buttons, but it was £20, so not really sure what I was expecting. But I think it's just nice to add a little bit of flavour. It's got this kind of like longer back detail on it, which I really like. Obviously, I think I can wear it with denim like this. I think it will look great with leather. I've styled it with a leather skirt already. I will insert for you to see. Um, but leather trousers as well and because it has these splits at the side that makes it really easy if you want to do a tie front you can easily do though I do think it's a little bit bulky you can definitely do a few different styling options with this and obviously your other option is just to leave it open Actually, let's do that. I'll put a little crop top on and let's leave it open. Okay, so this is it open. So I've just put a little um, crop top underneath. And again, with the jeans, I think it would look great with leather trousers, which I've got coming up. Um, but yeah, I really like it. I really, really like it. So if you're looking for a bit of silver to add to your wardrobe, this is a really inexpensive way of doing it. It's definitely about metallics as a whole and not necessarily just silver. Some other pieces that I'm definitely going to be wearing this autumn. I had also bought earlier in the season this silver dress, which was also from H&M. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you literally saw this a million times because I styled it so many different ways. Again, I'll insert so that you can see, but this was a great dress, is a great dress to style up, style down, 
really adds a bit of extra to my wardrobe. The only thing I will say is that this did snag very badly. And then also this top, which is also from H&M, but it's a Diamante detail top. And I've only worn this once, I think, since I bought it. It's got kind of a chainmail look to it, which I really like. But I did buy it in February and it was going into spring. So I think it was kind of a hard time to style it as much. But definitely for autumn, I'm going to be wearing this loads. So go into your wardrobe, see what you already have. And you may find some gems that fit into this trend really, really well. And pull those out. And as I mentioned, it's about metallics as a whole. I think silver is the hero of it, but definitely metallics is gonna to continue to be a huge trend for the whole season. So also to mention, this dress, this is from River Island. It's like a gold, bronze, kind of lame material. You see how that literally looks like liquid gold? That's what caught my eye. It, it, it's just so fluid and so shiny. It's way shinier than this, and it's so eye-catching. I just think this is such a stunning piece. Um, this is recent, this is new. I will link this down below as well, but it's a great option for like an autumn wedding or even with just party season as a whole coming up. This is perfect for that. The second trend that I want to talk about is leather. And leather is always on trend for autumn winter. It's not anything new, let's face it. But I definitely feel like this season there is a huge fear towards leather and it applies to all categories across the board. So leather jackets, leather blazers, leather skirts, leather shorts, leather tops. You know I love a leather short. But what I want to talk about is leather trousers. And I feel like where we've been before on this is more of a leather legging or a skinny kind of trouser in a leather look. That is really where, I think historically, where the leather trouser has always been. But now I think what's coming through, and I don't think this is 100% new, because it was definitely there last year as well, is more of a true trouser in leather or a leather look. So a five pocket jean with all the details, a button, a fly, rather than a pull on legging, and with a slightly wider cuff at the hem. So these ones I picked up in Abercrombie. This is my first ever purchase from Abercrombie. Never ordered from there before. I got these in a size 27 and I got them in long, which is where I really struggled last year. I couldn't find anything in my size because I could get these in a long that really helped me to get the length that I need. So, so this is them on. So as you can see, they've got a full five pocket. They've got a fly, a proper button, and they're more just like a jean or a trouser in a leather look or vegan leather. I really like the way that they fit. I think I probably could have gone down a size, to be honest. I think I probably could have gotten the 26 waist because I didn't really account for the fact that the leather is really stretchy. A really, really nice fit. I like that they're snug, but they're not super tight, and they're really comfortable. Like, I could actually sleep in these. They're so comfortable. And I think this is a bit of a look with the shirt, or I can tie the shirt up a bit. Yeah, so I can definitely, I can definitely tie the shirt up a bit to wear with this, or I can tuck it in. And what I love about this, which I can't remember if I already said, but because it's got those side slits, if you tuck the front, you've still got this length at the back. I think that's really flattering. But yeah, I love the trousers. Obviously, if you were a bit more blessed in the boot department, they would look even better, but that's what I got. In terms of leather, some of the items I already have in my wardrobe, which you may also have in yours and you just need to dig out, are leather blazers. I really like a leather blazer. I think it's a great way of finishing an outfit and it's a nice alternative to wearing a standard blazer all the time. Another thing that's definitely coming through in terms of leather is brown, kind of tan, chocolates, those types of shades, caramels. I think they're a really nice alternative to wearing black all the time. This is actually from last year, this is from River Island. I will look for options for all of these to link in the description box below. And then I also bought this one last year, this was from Zara. Other items that I also had in leather that I love are obviously my leather shorts. You guys know I absolutely love a leather short. So these are just my fave and I get so much wear out of them. And then also leather skirts, both in a mini length 
and a Maisy Lend. This one, again, is from River Island. I feel like I shop at all the same stores. This is from River Island last year, and this is from Zara maybe two years ago. Um, so the great thing about leather and even vegan leather and leather look pieces is that they do tend to last. The other thing that I would recommend is definitely looking at thrifting these because if you do thrift them, you tend to get real leather, which obviously is much better in terms of quality and it will last even longer. So definitely have a look and see on places like Vinted or your local charity shop for your leather items. But they're definitely a must this season. So the next trend is tailoring and specifically I want to talk about blazers. So I think tailoring as a whole is definitely a big trend. There's a lot of suiting, people wearing matching like blazers and trousers. Also leather suits, I've seen a lot of those coming through as well. I think what looks really new in blazers is definitely the cropped blazer, especially the really oversized cropped ones with the big shoulder pads. I think they look super new. So this one here is from River Island. This one I selected because I got this as part of a campaign that I worked on on my Instagram with River Island. Um, and I picked this because this is a lot more structured than the black blazer that I have. So I have a standard kind of oversized black blazer, but this is more tailored and it has a bit more of a nipped in waist. It's got the contrast buttons. It's just a slightly more elevated blazer with a slightly bigger shoulder pad as well. So I will try that on for you now. What I love about this is really the shape that it gives and it's giving the Balenciaga hourglass on a budget. That really is what it is. And I do have this blazer or a very similar blazer from River Island that has the same contour shaping to it in two other colors. So I'm a real fan of these. I just think it looks so elevated. It really looks expensive. It's not super expensive, but it gives that shape of the nipped in waist and then curves out at the hips, which I just think is a really flattering silhouette for pretty much anyone. What do you think? Let me know in the comments, but I definitely think tailoring as a whole is such an important trend. And there's something about, especially a blazer that just finishes an outfit. I could talk about blazers all day. So as you can see with the leather trousers, just as a bit of a black on black moment, I really, really like it. Obviously we like a bit of colour, we like to add in a splash of colour, but sometimes black on black is just the vibe, like sometimes that is the vibe. And I think this executes this really nicely. You need the blazer, I don't know what else to say, but it, I just think it gives such a nice shade, I absolutely love it. So whilst I'm sure you already have a blazer in your wardrobe, if you are looking to add in a new one for the season, again, look at thrifting. I think blazers are probably one of the best items that you can buy on the thrift market, but also check out your man's wardrobe because that's what I did. This blazer was one that my husband was getting rid of because it was an old suit of his that he no longer wanted. And I don't have a dark grey blazer, I wear my black one a lot, but I don't have anything really in grey. So I stole this from him. I stole the whole suit actually, I took the trousers as well. I think men's blazers have such a nice fit to them if you like an oversized look. And this one, I really like wearing it just with the sleeves rolled up. Again, it's got a bit of a bigger shoulder pad in it because it's a men's blazer and that's what I love about it. So have a look if you can get into your boyfriend, your husband, your dad's wardrobe to have a little hunt for a blazer. I would definitely recommend it. Men's blazers are unmatched, to be honest. If you like an oversized fit, a men's blazer is where it's at. The next trend is also within the outerwear category and that is bomber jackets. And um, these are really coming through thick and fast I feel like I'm seeing them all over Instagram. A lot of people are wearing them. Quilted jackets have been around for a while now and obviously the Frankie Shop one is the most viral one by far. But I think there's a real return of the true bomber. And I don't actually have any of these. I have quilted jackets, but I don't really have any bombers. Um, and I used to have them like years ago and they do feel a bit youthful to me. But what I am liking is this one that I've got from In The Style. This is in a khaki color and I really like that it's khaki. Um, I just think it adds a little bit of lightness to my wardrobe and it's just something a bit different. And then also from there, this varsity jacket. Now this one is part of something that I was working on on Instagram. I do feel like it's a little bit youthful. 
Um, I selected it, but now, I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence about it, so let me know how you're feeling about varsity jackets in general. But I definitely feel like a bomber jacket is just a classic jacket shape that has been around forever. I used to wear them quite a lot, and I did get rid of them. But I feel like they were too small, so I think that's a good reason to have gotten rid of them. But they're definitely coming back. This one has kind of become my nursery run jacket, and just my casual, like chuck on jacket that's easy to wear it goes with pretty much everything and i really like the shape of it again i went up a size because i like things a bit oversized as we all know to me it's not too oversized but it's just got that little bit extra room in it it's got a high low hem that kind of steps out a bit at the back and it's just a great chuck on jacket i think that's what's nice about a bomber jacket it's a great casual jacket and this one still feels not too casual, in my opinion. If a bomber jacket is a jacket that you love, that you already have in your wardrobe, is really leaning into your style, then this season it's for you. And pull it back out, get it back on. It's a great jacket to just wear in a really casual way, and that's how I'm gonna be wearing mine. Moving on to my final trend. Is this the final one? Um, and this, that's a footwear trend, and that is loafers. And um, I feel like everyone would know that it's loafers because they are literally everywhere. I feel like loafers are all that I'm seeing. And they're actually a shoe that I really love, that I used to wear a lot of, and I literally wore my old ones to death. So I was really excited to buy a new pair of loafers, and I did go overboard and order loads of them because Everyone has got a version, and I was just trying to try out all the different versions to see which ones suit me best and kind of fit my style the best. My love is the Prada loafers. I haven't got Prada coins, but they're really kind of the vibe that I was going for. And what I like about those is that they're a little bit chunky, but they're not super chunky like Bottega vibes, but they're also not completely flat like a Gucci classic loafer. So I'm gonna show you all of the ones that I ordered and that I tried on, just in case you're on the hunt as well. I've bought them, so you don't have to waste your time. These are the loafers that I ordered. So we've got H&M, Zara, and other stories. Those are the ones that we have to choose from. So first up are these from H&M. I went up to a size 41. I'm always in between a seven and an eight, but I generally find for H&M that I am a 41. I went for that size. These fit perfectly, to be honest. I would say these are a good kind of dupe of the, of the Prada ones because they, like I mentioned, are a little bit chunky, but they're not super chunky. They do have the cleated sole. That's what these kind of holes in the sole are. They do have a cleated sole, but they're not super, super chunky. I do think that they are a really nice loafer option. Obviously, because they're only £25, they're not real leather. Um, but if you're not looking to invest and you just want it as a trend piece, I think you can buy a £25 pair of loafers. Like, you don't need to go out and spend £100, £150, £200. If you don't think it's a shoe that you're going to be wearing, even if they were to go out of style next year, are you still going to be wearing them? That's how I decide if I'm gonna invest in something. I'm not sure that they're 100% there for me, but I do think that they are a really good option. Next are another pair that I ordered from H&M. These are the premium quality range. So these ones are real leather. They're a slightly different shape because they've got more of a round toe at the front. And they also have, let's take this off so you can really see. They also have this gold bar detail. Now, in my opinion, and bear in mind, I ordered these. <laughs> no one gave them to me, I ordered them. I think the gold bar is a little bit granddaddy. Like, I think I prefer a chain detail rather than the bar. That's just my personal preference. But obviously the Gucci ones have the bar, but I don't know what it is. I think maybe it's with the round toe as well. Something about them. Basically, I'm pretty sure my dad has these shoes. 
So that's making me feel a bit like, mm, I'm not sure. But these I ordered in the 41 and I actually can't even get them on my feet. So they definitely come up small. If you're gonna order them, they do come up small. I can't even try them on. So they're definitely going back, but they are really nice. They're real leather. They have a completely flat sole. They're not as chunky. You get my drift. Next up is Zara. And these I saw on someone on Instagram and I was like, I love those. So I ordered them. I did actually try these on in store and I tried them on in the 40 and they just felt this a little bit snug. Just, are they real leather? I'm not sure. No, they're not. So I wasn't sure how much they were gonna give. And so I ordered the 41 online because they didn't have them in store. Unfortunately, the 41s are too big. So they have to go back. They're really, really nice. I do think these are such a good option. If I feel like trying the 40 on again, just to see if I can make them work. But I like that they have a bit of a gold detail, but it's not your typical gold bar or gold chain. It's something a little bit unique. They're a really nice shape in that they've got a square tool, but they're a bit curved here. I think that is really nice. And again, the level of chunky on these, I think is really nice. They're not too chunky, but they are a little bit, they have the cleated sole. If you're looking for some loafers, I really do recommend these ones. I think they, I just think they're a really nice take on a more classic loafer look, but then they've got a little bit of extra to them. My final pair are the end of the stories loafers. And I think these are my favorite. And I have just ordered these in the size down because they're too big. I literally, my feet are just the bane of my life. But I ordered these in a 41 and they're too big. But these, see how these have a bit of a different shape? That's what I like about them. So they have more of a heel, which I think really feminizes them because I think loafers, like I mentioned about the other pair, really reminding me of my dad. They're quite a masculine shoe. So I think having that heel on them, which I believe the Prada ones have a little bit of a heel as well, makes them look a little bit more feminine. These aren't super chunky and they have a slightly more pointed toe, kind of a rounded point on the toe, which again, I think all of those things make them feel quite feminine. I think these are the nicest ones. Let me know what you think. Are you feeling the loafers trend? Are you here for it? Are you not here for it? I do think it's a bit of an acquired taste and it's not gonna be for everyone. A lot of people are styling these with socks as well, like white socks and black socks. I think the white socks looks a little bit too schoolgirl for my taste, but I do think with the black socks, they look quite nice. So there's loads of different ways that you can style these and they're a great alternative whilst it's still warm enough to not have to wear a boot. I think they're just a great shoe option to have in your wardrobe. So which of these trends can you really see yourself wearing this autumn and winter? Do you already have them? Do you feel inclined to go out and buy them? Do you have to have them? Let me know in the comments down below. I think my favorite is the metallic trend and I really think I'm gonna be wearing that. I'll try to incorporate it as much as possible into my outfits for the season ahead. If you enjoyed this video, please do. Give me a like, subscribe. If you've made it this far, then you know you've got to subscribe. I make videos like this about fashion, lifestyle, some beauty every week. Your girl's trying to do every week. So I would really appreciate your support in trying to grow this channel and this community. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a little comment below so that I can thank you for watching. And I would love to see you join the family. Take care, bye.